like it? Yeah, Check I like it Check this out, a new trick I've learned. What? How do you do that? Jane? What? Congratulations. Oh, thanks. You did a cool gig the other day, and I want you to tell me every single detail. When you were DJing with old mate Hugh. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> well, how, what, 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 why were you doing DJing for Hugh Jackman? Okay, so I get this call like Wednesday and they say to me, oh, can you DJ in the foyer at Rod Laver Arena while people are coming to see Hugh Jackman, uh, the man, the music, the show. His big solo show. Yeah, yeah, his big solo yeah. show. It's a big song and dance, you know, extravaganza. Mm. It's like a, like I think a two hour show where he performs songs from. Uh, the, All his the, shows. Those shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Greatest Showman, Showman. Uh, that, that one. Yeah, Peter Allen, yeah, shows, shows bits of, uh, his characters from the likes of Wolverine, oh, etc. Yeah. Cool. So of course I rock up on the Friday afternoon thinking I'm going in the foyer. I've got my my, my, my shopping bag on my shoulder, <laughs> you know. What with I, records in? With it? records, because I'm so old school, I still play records. Yes. And they go, I oh, know who told you that that you're in the foyer. You're actually on the main stage. And I went, oh right, on the main stage, just up in the corner somewhere where no one will see me. And they went, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I get to Rod Laver Arena, it is like 6.30 in the evening, and they go, yeah, so there's your DJ booth. And it was literally, you've got the stage and you've got this catwalk bit because Hugh needs to go out and sing and dance and touch the audience. Sure. I'm on the catwalk bit, <sighs> you know, as people are finding their seats. Like I'm in this huge auditorium, huge Jackman auditorium. Good. Good. Yeah, thought you might like that. Uh, playing music, I guess, find your seat music, uh, warm up music. Yeah. Uh, 13,000 people, six shows uh, a night. So 13,000 people a night. Um, it was just nuts. And so I was playing things like, you know, Motown, Supremes, uh, and then I kind of went on to the Amy Winehouse vibe, and then I went into kind of like, I don't know, commercial dance territory, Kelvin Harris, and it was absolutely nuts. It was probably one of the most bizarrest yet most wonderful things I ever found myself doing. That's I did surreal. get to meet you. I yes. did get to meet him. I saw it on your Insta. Yeah. And uh, when he met me, he said, G'day, Jamie. And that was it. I was, I oh. melted. I melted. <laughs> I melted straight away. He's the perfect man, isn't he? Mm. Flawless. Yeah. Sings, dances, good looking, Wolverine, and can probably cook. Yeah. And loves his wife. Oh my God, he does this oh. bit in the show where he just absolutely like just pays tribute to his wife Deb, Deb. Deb. and you know they put photos of their Aww. life together their wedding day their kids and you're just going <laughs> oh he's perfect <laughs> oh how did you get so perfect what, are the, what an amazing and surreal gig did you fret before the gig were you I would have been really nervous well I thought I was in the foyer I thought I was going to be in the foyer. So you had no nervousness until the point where you until found out you're on the I catwalk. Went, <laughs> oh, holy cow! I'm not in the foyer. I'm on the main stage. That's so weird. It was bizarre. What's the most weirdest, most bizarre gig you've ever found yourself at or doing? Oh. Uh, one time I was. I mean, this is embarrassing. I don't. One time I was booked by a client and they and it was to do M MC hosting duties and so I was being flown up to Queensland to do it and as and they were paying really well and I'm like yeah like, this will be fine and they said cool so can you just do a tight five just do your stand up stuff for five minutes and you'll be you, I hope this doesn't give it away to anyone who was employing me at that stage but I'm sorry but I was had to be dressed as a genie. And on the way up to the gig, I'm like, I don't do stand-up comedy. I've never done stand-up comedy. I don't do jokes. I can't do jokes. It's not funny. And I'm going to be standing there dressed as a genie. <laughs> and so I Googled genie jokes on the aeroplane just before we took off and tried to find some kind of gear and then attempted to deliver stand-up comedy until someone in the front row wrapped me up and I walked off the stage. Prior to that, I had to stand on the stage in a freeze mode because I was a silhouette shadow and they didn't know I was supposed to be alive. I had to stand there for half an hour worrying about the fact that I was about to do some stand-up for the first time and it was horrible! No one knew why I was there! It was... I... I would... Ever, ever since, I would never do another attempted stand-up gig. Can I just thought I'll get away with this. Can you remember any of those jokes? Can you remember any of them? Oh, it was probably the standard 80s dad jokes. It would have been along the lines of... 
got three wishes from a genie and uh, and a tiny pianist appeared at the bar. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember funny. actually the 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 joke, mm. but it was something about but a you tiny pianist. I know oh, it was. I know it was a thirteen-inch pianist. <laughs> I wished for a 13 inch pianist and the genie was out of hearing and so gave him a because he actually mm. he didn't want a pianist. Mm. A never lasting box of tin tabs. Oh that's yes. The, you, um, the genie. You only just got that now. Yes, yes, yeah. because that was Enfa. Ah, uh, it was. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was Enfa. Yeah. He rode past me on his bicycle at the farmer's market the other day. So just a bit of a name drop there. He said, hey, and I went, hey. It was awesome. I'll tell you who I saw the other day. Felix from the Cat Empire. He was shopping in my local supermarket. Gross. In Brunswick. Rockstar shouldn't shop. Yeah, well, he, he's got kitties. He's got a shop. He's got uh, to feed his family, Dylan. Should have Dylan. people to do that for him. You were at the farmer's market. You can't talk. That's the farmer's market. That's well, shopping. Me. It's not shopping. What is it? Looking. Well, don't you shop at a farmer's market? I don't shop at a Oh, for I don't God's like their produce, it's too small. Oh, please. <laughs> the veggies are too small <laughs> because they're organic.